I'm all about beauty, business, and being the boss. This is my dream, and now is the time to step into my destiny. I'm Kyla, and this is my corner. Good evening, and welcome to Kyla's Corner. I'm Kyla, and this is my corner. I know you guys are wondering why in the world I have this tiara on. Well, tomorrow is my 21st birthday, so I'm living it up like a princess, like the queen that I am. And I'm, I'm just really excited, you know. So the name of this episode is Birthday Fever. So today we're gonna to be talking about all things birthday, all things my birthday. And you know, it's a celebration. It's a celebration of life. This is a huge milestone for me. So let's get started. So first, our birthday fever game is in my 21st birthday cup that I got custom made. It's just a couple questions just asking me about different birthdays of mine and you know, things of that nature. So let's get started. Ooh, best birthday. My best birthday, ooh. My sweet 16 was really good. My sweet 16 was a good birthday. That was definitely a great birthday. It was, it was in what, 10th grade? It was on Good Friday. My birthday usually falls somewhere around Easter and a lot of my friends were talking about how they weren't gonna come or they couldn't come because it was on Good Friday. And I'm like, guys, it's a huge, huge party. If my Super Sweet 16 was still a thing, I'd probably be on the show. Like, it was really big. I had it at a hall. Like, I made everyone adhere to a dress code. Everyone had to wear black and white. And if you didn't wear black and white, honestly, I wasn't gonna let you in. Like, I was kind of being a brat, but it was, it was for the better, it was for the pictures, it was for the, the coordination of the party, and I wore red because I had to stand out. It was Hollywood theme. I had the red carpet, I had the paparazzi, I had an entourage. It was it was great. It was it was a really great birthday. And that was back when we had the um what was the thing called? The Um it was a song and it was like um and that, what was it called? Somebody help me. What was it called? The, oh my gosh, I wish I could call my brother and ask him, but he's underwater right now. Jesus, yes, because the, the, the submarines and the Navy, and oh my goodness, what is it called? It was like a video viral challenge type thing. Oh, oh, um, it was, oh, it says right here, the, the challenge. Harlem Shake. Oh! Uh, <laughs> Sorry. We did the Harlem Shake challenge video thing. It took forever for us to figure it out, but it shows you. If you put the minds of the right people together, you'll eventually figure it out. Next question. My most memorable birthday would definitely be my 20th birthday. I, my mom came to campus and surprised me, like from home. And I was in the cafeteria with some of my friends, just eating, and my mom had told me like the day prior because me and my mom talk every day. She told me, oh, I'm not gonna be able to talk to you tomorrow afternoon because I'm taking so-and-so to the doctor. And I said, okay, like it's fine. It wasn't anything I was, it, it didn't catch me off guard because this is a particular friend who had to go to the doctor pretty often and my mom would take her sometimes. So I'm like, oh, okay, you have to take her to the doctor, it's cool. So my mom, what happened? I think I talked to my dad and he's like, yeah, your mom's at the doctor. And I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. So I'm in the cab, and I think my, somehow I think my parents knew I was in the cab. I don't really remember the story, but long story short, a cab worker walked up to me and was like, excuse me, is your name Kyla? And I'm like, yeah, like, okay. And this is the day before my birthday. I'm like, yeah, I'm Kyla. And she said, oh, um, someone wants to see you. So I said, okay, so I followed her, and she walks me outside of the cafeteria into the lobby, and I see my mom sitting there with balloons, and I'm like, ah, oh my gosh. So that was great, it was a great surprise. So my mom was here, like, my birthday, like three days, um, it was like the day before my birthday, the day of my birthday, and like the day after, and that was really great. So that was definitely a memory that I always have. My best birthday present. 
Well, besides what I just said, I got a car for my 18th birthday, so that was a great birthday present. And I got it like a month before my birthday. It was in like February, so that was a good birthday present. And oh, I'm saving this question for the for the end. This will be my last question. Your milestone birthdays: 1, 10, 13, 16, 18, 21. Okay. Well, one, I don't remember, but I see pictures. I had a birthday party at McDonald's. Ten, double digits. I don't remember what I did for my 10th birthday, but it must not have been anything big if I don't remember it. Thirteen, I definitely remember because I was planning a huge party. I was like, yeah, I'm a teenager. I'm going all out. And I got in trouble at school, and my mom canceled everything. And I just went to dinner with my family that birthday. So I'll always remember my 13th birthday. Kids always do great in school and don't do bad things because your 13th birthday might get canceled. <laughs> 16th birthday, I just talked about my sweet 16, it was great. 18th birthday, oh wait, rewind, back to my sweet 16. Remember when I talked about the dress code? Yes, okay, so I had some friends from middle school who came and they had on like blue and orange and I said I know that I specifically said on my invitation black and or white mind you me being the diva that I am I made a big deal out of it because they made a big deal out of it like they walked in like I don't gotta wear black and white because I do what I want to do and I said how about I kick you out of my birthday party how about that so this actually should have been an episode of my super sweet 16 because I would love to rewatch it but anyway I have Two older brothers, right? Actually, like three, but, and my uncles and everything, they were all there. And they were really giving me a hard time about the fact that they didn't come in the dress code that I requested for all my guests to wear, and my brothers were about to kick them out. Like, literally, my brothers were like, do you want us to handle this? Because if you do, we will politely, or not so politely, ask them to leave, and they'll be gone. What you want? Like, that's, you know, that's just how, that's how we do it. I ended up letting them stay because I just talked to them. I told them, look, you need to act like you have some sense. This is my birthday. You are not about to ruin my day. That was that, you know, everyone else, like the other like 95% of my guests actually decided to adhere to my dress code. So please remember for my wedding, for my anything else I have, if I tell you to wear something, please just do it. Just prevent us all the headache. Please and thank you. Love y'all. What else? 18. My 18th birthday was, well, that was cool too. I just had a, a birthday at a nice restaurant. I got cute. Nothing too major. And 21, that's my last question that I'm going to answer because that's tomorrow. Ooh, my worst birthday. I never really had any bad birthdays. I think I was extremely blessed to have all birthdays that went very well except for my 13th I just really wanted it to be like that huge thing but I messed that up for myself so I can't really you know what actually my 19th birthday was okay but it probably could have or should have been a little better just because I my freshman year in college I had a huge group of friends and um, this is just a lesson learned when you go into college whoever you go in with most likely won't be who you leave out with and you probably won't leave out with them that year to be honest i had a huge group of friends and i got into an argument with one friend and the result of that argument all of the friends took her side over mine because she was a little more mild-mannered i guess you can say i mean i'm laid back as well but i stand my ground i'm very bold i'm outspoken so i say what i need to say i don't bite my tongue for anyone and we got into the argument everyone took her side and said well kyla you know you're the more aggressive party so i'm pretty sure you were the aggressor in the situation they all took her side over mine except about two or three people and so all those friends so all that like huge birthday dinner and all that i was planning on having i weren't i wasn't friends with any of them so I, I kind of lost all my friends like a week before my birthday, except for like two friends. So those couple friends still made it good for me. Like they still made sure that I had a good birthday and my cousin as well, who was still at my university at the time. 
But it was just kind of heartbreaking to know that all these people that I had been, you know, friends with and so close with throughout the whole school year from August all the way until like the beginning or middle of March and right before the end of March, my birthday came, it was over. But it was still cool. Last question, what are you doing this year for your birthday? Well, let me tell y'all. So this year for my 21st birthday, I'm leaving school after my last class on my birthday, tomorrow, Thursday, and I don't have classes on Friday, thank the Lord. But I am going to fly into Miami with my friend Caitlin. She's behind the camera, y'all can't see her, but I can. But Caitlin and I are going to fly into Miami. We're going to meet my mom. And on Friday, we're going on a cruise to the Bahamas. Yes. So I'm really excited about that. Stay tuned. I'm definitely going to be taking video, footage, all that great stuff, pictures. So probably, if not the next episode from this one, the episode after that one will be a birthday update episode so you can see how phenomenal my birthday was, my cruise was, the Bahamas, Miami. It'll be great. So that's your birthday fever. And when we come back, we will learn about 21 lessons I learned before turning 21. Stay tuned. Welcome back, and here are 21 lessons. So, as I said, tomorrow, March 29th, 2018, is my 21st birthday. I'm very excited, but with every milestone birthday, every personal new year, every birthday that you have, you have to think back and reminisce on your previous year, your previous years when it's milestones, and just think about, you know, what what has gone on that's good, the good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, all of the above. So I wrote a blog post last year called 20 Lessons That I Learned Before I Turned 20. This year is a milestone, 21, and I'm going to read off the, those 21 things that I learned before I turned 21, and I'm going to elaborate on like maybe four or five of them, just give me some insight on the wisdom and knowledge that I've gained in my 21 years of life that I have been blessed to have. So let's get started. Number one, put God first. Don't fret about relationships. People come and people go. If people want to walk out of your life, let them. Don't let anyone else define you. Trust timing. Everything won't turn out the way that you want it to. Use your voice effectively. Ask. Keep moving. Accept no as an answer. You will fall on your face. It's okay to not be okay. Don't compare yourself to others. The tongue is powerful. Switch it up. Travel the world. Everyone won't be like you. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. Build an empire with the same stones thrown at you. And number 21, if everything else fails, revert back to number one. And as a reminder, number one is to put God first. So let's see. Number one, put God first. The scripture that helps me or keeps me going is actually our Kyla's Corner scripture of the day. So I won't say that until the end, but just, I mean, there's nothing I could do without God. Without him, that's all there is to it. If I didn't put God first in my life, I honestly don't know where I would be because I'd probably be in shambles somewhere in a corner doing nothing with my life. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be in college. I wouldn't be doing this show. I wouldn't, anything that you can think of, like all the phenomenal things I'm doing and some things that I'm doing that aren't so great or things in my life that aren't going great, it's all because of God. So I just acknowledge him all the time and just thank him and make sure that he's always the head and not the tail in my life because he is my life. If people want to walk out of your life, let them. I've talked about friendships before. You guys have heard my whole spiel about my friendships not going too terribly well. But honestly, if you want to leave out of my life, I'll open the door for you and don't let it hit you when it closes because I don't have time to harp on unnecessary people who only want bad for me or only wish bad on me. I don't need toxic people in my life. I'm, I'm about to be 21 years old. I, I can't continue to just stay on the things that are draining me. I can't, I can't do it anymore. Use your voice. Obviously, I'm a journalist, so I use my voice a lot, but I've also learned that everything that you use your voice in or you use your voice with, 
everyone won't agree with you and that's okay. It's been plenty of things that I have spoken up about and spoken out. Not everyone is going to agree with me, but that's the beauty of you having your own voice. If it was meant for everyone to say it, everyone would have the same voice. And that is the reason why we don't have the same voice. That's why we're not all the same person. And that's why I'm me, you're you, and I'm meant to speak my piece and you're meant to speak yours. Keep moving. And in lamest terms, whether you're crawling, you're walking, you're running, keep moving in life. Don't be stagnant. Don't stay in one spot because you're not going to get anywhere if you're not moving. Literally, even if you're crawling to get somewhere, you're still somehow, some way going to get to that next step on the staircase. That's all there is to that. Ask. No matter what you want, if you don't ask, you can't get it. It's just that simple. Don't compare yourself to others. You're one of a kind. Like my grandmother, rest her soul, she always used to tell me, you came into this world by yourself, you're gonna leave by yourself. You did not come into this world with anyone else. So I'm unique. God said I'm fearfully and wonderfully made and that is for a reason. He made me in his image for a reason. We all have a different purpose in life. And my purpose is my purpose, your purpose is your purpose. And we can come together and we can mix our purposes in one and we can create beautiful things together. Build an empire with the same stones thrown at you. That was the new lesson that I learned this year because people always prey on your downfall and they wish the worst on you. But those stones that you're throwing at me, I promise it, I'm going to turn those back around because diamonds aren't beautiful. They don't start out beautiful. They start out as rocks. So those stones that you're throwing at me, I'm going to build my empire. I'm going to be great. And as you're still throwing stones at an empire, you're gonna be looking like the Joker outside of the empire, looking crazy while I'm the queen. And when we come back, we will have Kyla's closing thoughts. Stay tuned. Welcome back, and here are Kyla's closing thoughts. Use these 20 things I've told you, the lessons I've learned throughout my birthdays over the years, the 21 things that I have discovered through life, whether they're a food for thought, your motivation, your inspiration through the day, use them, take them as little nuggets and continue to use them to help yourself in your life. And your Kyla's Corner quote of the day is, you become what you believe, not what you wish or what you want, but what you truly believe. By my idol, Oprah Winfrey. And our Kyla's Corner scripture of the day comes from Proverbs chapter three, verses five and six. And it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. I hope you all have a wonderful week. I definitely will. Happy birthday to me. I'm very excited. Thank you all in advance for the birthday wishes that I know I'm going to get. Thank you. Just thank you for sticking out with me for so long. And until next week. <laughs>